It's Monday, February 8th, 2010. Congratulations to all my Cajun family and friends to the New Orleans Saints. Yes, my Colts lost. <laughs> wow. I live here in the great state of Indiana, and my Indianapolis Colts lost. But I have strong roots down in New Orleans, Algiers area. And all my family and friends, I just want to say congratulations for the Saints winning after, what is it, 43 years. Impressive. Let's get on with stocks. Check this out. The markets tumble. The Dow down 104 points. A half a percent drop on the S&P, 0.7% on the NASDAQ. The Russell's down a full percent. The VIX, however... It didn't pop. Break even. We're at 26, but we are above 25. So the markets overall was down. I fully expected with the hammers that we received last week, ending out the week, that we would have had a nice bullish run today. And we started there. Here's the S&P daily. And we started our run. We made a higher high, but we come right back down. Just nothing to this move. I mean, pop, boom. It just shows how weak we are. Gang, this is a sideways motion. I don't like that. This tells me that we're more bearish than what I was thinking. Right now, there seems to be some very real concerns about the sovereign debt over there in, in Europe. And for us to stay low like this, especially after a pullback, a hammer, I really thought we were going to get some sort of pop. I was hedged, but I was net to the bull side. And then today, I ended up having to get rid of those bullish positions. Um, I just lightened up on them. I didn't get rid of them. And then increased my bearish hedge. So right now, I'm hedged pretty well at this moment because I don't know what the market's going to do at this point. I know we have resistance at this line coming up. We have resistance around 1073, 1075 area on the S&P. And the low, I mean, I mean, this thing could get down quite low. You know, uh, 1050 would be the next logical area of support. But if we just build sideways, that would build a low base formation, which is in fact bearish. Now, what I do see happening here is we have this lower low, swing low. You see this? We have a lower swing low in the development stage right now. And the reason I'm able to see, say this, because we don't have an up leg yet, so we don't know this is going to be a swing low, but I do see a histogram getting smaller on the negative side, showing a rollover starting to take place here on the MACD. That means if we have a lower swing high, but we have a higher swing low here on the MACD, that would be a bullish setup. So with that bullish setup, we could get a little pop right here. And that would be interesting to see if the markets could play themselves out and if that could actually take place. But if you want to give back a lot of money to the markets, what you want to do is pick bullish or bearish inside a sideways trend, and that is a surefire way to give back to the markets. Remember, market tuition is the most expensive thing out there. What we want to do is say if we're in sideways consolidation, sit on your hands or be hedged, and then when you pop, manage your stocks, options, futures, forex, manage a pop accordingly. And if it drops, the same thing. Manage your positions, be it equities, options, or futures. So there it is. I'm just telling everybody to, uh, to absolutely stay on guard to the markets because net volume just fell out of bed by day's end on the markets. A lot of people um, selling. And um, trend popped up to 1.8, which isn't overly high. But um, there we are. That's where we're at at this moment. So safe trading each and every one of you. Looking forward to seeing you this week. Take care.